It's a middleweight matchup between Anderson the Spider Silva and Robert Whittaker. All right, so here we go. Anderson Silva versus Robert Whitaker, and another opportunity for Robert Whitaker to continue to stamp his all-time middleweight legacy. Robert Whitaker has a fantastic legacy. What better way to try and secure that legacy but by beating maybe the greatest middleweight of all time in Anderson Silva? This is a big moment for Robert Whitaker in terms of legacy. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Checks the leg kick. Real quick leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Beautiful takedown land. Stuffs the takedown there. Out. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have drove into the corner, maybe he would have secured the top position. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to the stand up in the boxes. And that is a full display right now. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Silva gets caught with that punch. Oh, that's a strong slip there, and then the rip. Whitaker gets crushed with that hook. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anderson the Spider Surf. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Whitaker's back in full mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Final seconds here in round one. Round two is next. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for two. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Ready? Round one, not Ready? the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. We can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. So we pull up the numbers for you here. How about this, DC? 34 total strikes have landed for Anderson Silva. While the number's not all that efficient, 43%. The accuracy rate against Robert Whitaker. Whitaker gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Nice leg kick there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All right, so he's landed some good.
good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now followed the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Wow, a huge head kick. Oh, straight right. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Whitaker. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 60 seconds to go in round two. Five seconds remain in the round. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Round three next. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Nice kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Beautiful leg kick throw. Fight stats for you now, 59. Total strikes have now landed for Robert Whittaker. And connecting with about a 41% accuracy right here against Anderson Silva. And there comes the separation now. Just misses with that big right hand. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 54 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Robert. So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.